are hanging out at the beach today, specifically the Pacific Coast, because we're gonna be joined by the Pacific Coast girls. Yep, Rainbow High has some brand new dolls. It's not Rainbow High, actually. We should just say they're Pacific Coast High dolls. So we're looking at Hallie Capri and Harper Dune today. A very special thank you to MJ Entertainment who sent these dolls out to me so I can share them with you guys. Well, I'll tell you, I was taken by surprise. I did not know these are totally brand new girls. I thought we were making the Pacific Coast line off of the characters that were already released. So I thought she was Skylar, and for some reason I thought she was gonna be Marissa Golding. You can watch the Rainbow High series on YouTube, and I think they even have the uh, older episodes on Netflix. And here are all the students from the Pacific Coast that we can expect in this new line. So this guy right here, he's Finn. There's Harper Dune, Hallie, Simone, Bella? <gasps> Oh, maybe this is how they bring Bella back on the show. I don't know. I have not been keeping up with the show. As you guys know, Bella got kicked out of Rainbow High for doing something she wasn't supposed to. But there was talk of her coming back. But I guess she's coming back to the Pacific Coast High and not Rainbow High. This opalescent cutie is Margot. And here we have the colorful tropical Phaedra. And she reminds me of Sunset, the world travel OMG doll. Meet the students of Pacific Coast High, the most elite fine arts high school school on the west coast. Here the days are sunny, the classes are poolside, and the drama rolls in and out like the tides. Why do they like drama so much? I guess we'll find out. Okay, so let's take a look at Hallie first. What is her focus? She is a fashion design focus. Okay, so if you guys really want to get your hands on one of these goyles, they hit the shelves the week of January 10th. So they've already been spotted in a lot of stores and you can find them on amazon.com. The dolls that are said to be released this week are Bella, Harper, Hallie, and Phaedra. Simone and Margot are set to be on the shelves early February. Finn of the Dude is actually set to be on the shelves around March 1st. So, on the back of this longer box with their beach towel, they have the doll stand, so don't forget to take that out. Oh my goodness! <gasps> They've got legs! I was not expecting that. Ah, makes sense, because she goes from wearing slides to high heels. That is very new. Kind of reminds me of Bratz, where you place their shoes by completely taking off the bottom of their feet. And we've got instructions on how to do that. Changing legs, tying the sandals, all that good stuff. What came in here? Alrighty, so inside this box we've got... A really cute see-through beach bag that says rainbow on it. You think it's a Pacific? Cause they go to Pacific Coast High. She's got her sunglasses and her rainbow high beach towel. Okay, you guys, I'm totally confused. Are they going to rainbow high or Pacific Coast High? I don't know. She's got a pretty big sized beach towel. It's perfect for her. It says rainbow high atelier, Pacific View, Los Angeles. Feel like I'm missing something and that I need to catch up with the Rainbow High episodes. Here is her doll stand. Let's get that together. And then she's got her comb that says Rainbow. Everything says Rainbow High. Her beach bag can literally fit everything in there. It's perfect. It's functional. It's usable. It could even fit her beach towel in there. That's pretty impressive. So Hallie, she is the ultimate California girl. Hallie Capri was practically born at the beach. She's called the West Coast home her entire life and loves nothing more than a little salt in her hair and sand in her toes. Yeah, I don't like sand in my toes. Luckily, classes at Pacific Coast High are poolside and beach hangs are the norm. She's a fashion design focus with a specialty in creating beautiful and functional bathing suits and resort wear. Many of the students at Pacific Coast love to wear her looks. I'd rather be on the beach, is her saying. So each doll comes with one pair of interchangeable doll legs, one swimsuit top, swimsuit bottom, pair of shorts, headscarf visor, one scrunchie, one comb, one beach bag, beach towel, and a pair of sandals. So let's check out that swimsuit bottom. We already see the pair of shorts. When she's ready to swim, she removes those, and there you go. Very cute. She definitely looks like she designed some really nice swimwear and resort wear. I love how neat they have her hair in the box. That is amazing. It's perfectly curled and glued in place. That is A-OK -okay for me because I really don't brush through my Rainbow High Dolls hair. I actually like keeping it the way they have it right out of the box, and if it's perfect, then I'm a happy camper. 
but I can't help but think how similar she looks to Skylar Bradshaw. Let's check out her makeup. Let's get this sunglasses off. I'm noticing a different face mold. Mm-hmm, definitely different. The eye color is very beautiful. So glossy like porcelain doll eyes. Pretty. She's got a glossy lip too. Looks like she's got some good quality lip gloss on. Let's check out her eyebrows. They are perfectly ombre out. Look at that. That is just perfection. She's got her lashes, glittery eye makeup. She's just the prettiest. And that little scrunchies, everything. And she's got blue nail polish to match herself. Okay, so I know what you guys really want. You want to know how we replace those legs. Well, I'm curious too. Oh, by the way, this visor velcros in the back. I'm not going to take it off because it's held together with this little piece of plastic. And I kind of want to keep her that way. But that's easy on, easy off. All right. Each leg is keyed for correct placement so there's no confusing her right and left it says that you pull this off but you pull below the knee so oh oh there you go oh my goodness I almost knocked everything over so here's the other one it does uh, require a little muscle power so here's our doll right over here you guys can see it says right so we're gonna put her right leg in oh right as in from the perspective of the doll so let's say she was a real person and if she was looking down this side is her right side for us it's her left side we just press it in and that's it now she can wear heels let's get the other leg in and you should hear a click when they're in all the way there you go. Okay, so while Halle Capri is chilling on the beach, let's check out Harper Dune. So Harper Dune is performance focused. Here is Harper's doll stand. So pretty, it's clear and it's got like a gold tint to it with gold glitter. Guessing she's another gold doll. Hey, she might be Marissa Golding's sister. I feel like Harper is very Burberry inspired. As you guys know, Rainbow High takes inspiration from a lot of these luxury brands. She's very cute. And it's a uh, quinka dink how her name matches with sand dunes, you know, Harper Dune. I love her makeup. Look how her eyeshadow is glowing on her bottom lash line. She has gold glitter liner and a really pretty gradient of gold for her eyeshadow. Her lip color is also on par with the entire situation. All gold. Let's check out her hat. Isn't this the cutest hat ever? And it's even got the rainbow in the pattern. It says rainbow on there with the Pegasus. My rim is a little bit bent but isn't this the cutest if we could just flip it up she looks so pretty i love the hat well maybe not that flipped up but like that and you guys her hair is a1 i love the quality of her hair and how it's just not messy look at it i mean okay maybe just a little bit but we're not gonna be picky patties here i love the beach waves they have for her it does have the product in there like a crunchy glue but I'm okay with that. I like the glue to be, you know, there on a minimal level. Not so it's caked, but just enough to keep the style. But I love her hair. It looks like her hair got wet and then wavy and then dried that way with like the salt water. And here's her matching top, her shorts. She also has her swimsuit bottoms on there. Gold nail polish and her little strappy sandals. So the details on Harper, you ask? She is a triple threat. This singer, dancer, and actor comes from a family of entertainers, so it's so no surprise that she's musically and theatrically inclined. She has big dreams of seeing her name in lights, and on a few awards, she already has the shelf ready. All her talent makes her a little intimidating at first, but she's really awesome and fun to be around. Triple Threat doesn't even scratch the surface. All right, so you guys can see her matching sunglasses. Very cute. I love everything that's matchy-matchy on her with the plaid pattern. I don't know. I have a weakness for plaid. I love all plaids. Well, almost all plaids. And here's her super cute handbag and her matching beach towel. She also gets a set of her own interchangeable legs and a comb. And here are her swimsuit bottoms. They match the top just perfect. I think she's my favorite of the two. And that is it for now. I hope you guys had fun unboxing the new Pacific Coast Rainbow High dolls with me. I had lots of fun. Honestly, I really like the new accessories. I like that they switch things up, the face molds and the makeup. Just the theme it's really cute i love beach stuff the beach is always fun i will be unboxing the rest of the pacific coast girls and hopefully finn very soon so stay tuned for that and also the color changing pool yep you heard right 
the color changing pool. They have a new pool and it's got a whole bunch of fun accessories including palm trees and all that good stuff. So until next time friends, I will see you later. Bye for now.